Where is the church now? What is the state of the church? Good morning. Just one of the many questions Bishop Curtis Guillory says cardinals will ask as they gather tomorrow to pick a new pope. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. It's a process the Catholic Church usually sees once every several decades. But after its most recent leader stepped down, Catholics around the world are waiting with bated breath to see who will be elected the new pope. KFDM reporter Megan Dillard joins us live from St. Anne Catholic Church in Beaumont with more. Megan. Well, Kelly, there is a mass going on in the church behind me. That's a religious ceremony where Catholics come together to pray and celebrate faith. One thing Catholics now are surely praying for, the election of their new leader. Who, who can best be the face of the Catholic Church. It's a question on Bishop Curtis Guillory's mind, the minds of Catholics across the country and around the world. Who is, of the Cardinals, uh, the person to move us forward, taking us, taking the, the, the issues where we are, and then moving the church forward? <laughs> The need for a new leader comes weeks after Pope Benedict XVI stepped down for what the church described as medical concerns. He realized that mentally and, and physically he just didn't have the energy and the strength uh, and the vibrancy that is necessary with that office. An office soon filled by one of 115 cardinals gathered in Rome. A selection process and tradition, Bishop Guillory says, is not easily understood from the outside. For someone who doesn't look at this from the perspective of fate or totally from a political perspective, it doesn't make sense that 115 cardinals would be gathered in a Sistine Chapel cut away from the world. Two of the papal candidates are from the U.S. Cardinal Timothy Dolan hails from New York. A vibrant, animated person. He's suave with the media. He is a, um, a great evangelizer. A Boston man, Cardinal Sean O'Malley, is also part of the conclave, or group of cardinals in the running. A bit quieter, but he's a very effective, uh, a very effective leader, uh, administrator. Bishop Guillory says both men and all of the candidates will take on some tough issues if selected. One in particular that's kept the church in the media spotlight. I think the next pope is going to have to deal with uh, the sexual abuse issues. But, Guillory says, that's what the role is all about. Taking the, the, the issues where we are and then moving the church forward. And as for his guests? I have a, a, a candidate, or a couple of candidates, but I will let you know after the election. <laughs> The church says Pope Benedict XVI, who stepped down last month, will live out of public view behind the walls of the Vatican in Rome. As for the Pope's election process, it all begins tomorrow. We're live in Beaumont. Megan Dillard, KFDM 6 News.